Now, to even further help that, she's got to do lateral and rotation. So her biggest problem she talked about today was her lateral. Like she does not like going lateral, which we've got to get better. So show us that one, Elizabeth. Yep. So her lateral movement, come in this way, cool. <laughs> there we go. Her lateral movement, again, she's, okay, she's struggling a little bit, and that's just with hopping. Now, try and go, go deep for me, Elizabeth. It takes a lot of strength for that. It's a lot of joint loading. Go again. That's a, now, surprisingly, she doesn't like them in this way. She actually doesn't like lateral more than medial. Some, my experience, a lot of people don't like the medial, so going this way, because they tend to roll the leg in, so they tend to roll in. But she seems, you don't mind that too much, do you? Where you go again. See how she's really trying now to drop down and get that depth into that position so she can work out how to control this. Okay, come back to the side again, see if you can do it again. Good, and that's the stability I get it to, wanted to do. Obviously lateral, and then she's got to learn to rotate. Okay, so she'll be coming from one side and then trying to go 90 degrees. Do you want to see if you can try that? Go into a deep one when you do that. That's it. Good, go again. So deep. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and then getting that movement correct will help her basketball, also help her with a box jump, and hopefully prevent that whole thing from happening. Now, let's just go into a sidestep because we're having a look at a sidestep as well. For Elizabeth, the sidestep's really, really important in basketball because she's got to try and get around a player. Now, before, do you want to show us what you're doing before and then we'll correct it, okay? This is a, come around there, Courtney. This is a, um, sidestep which is sort of incorrect if you like where you go now go again come back on the left one she's not too bad now what we want before what she was doing was we, she was sidestepping and stopping and then and then pausing and coming away. So what I mean is she's sort of like bang and then coming away. The side step, the load, the land has to be the push off. Okay? So she's got to come around a player and then come away. Okay? So it's very important that she's going to can, can change directions, can put her foot out, land and push off. So she's got to get better at maybe slowing the side step down as far as coming up to the side step. But and then when she slowed down and land, then quickening up the impact and the pushback. Okay, so I'm gonna try that. I know it's confusing, but so slowing it down and then increasing. Bang. So that push off, she's got to get more confident with go your left one again. She's got to get confident with the left land and push off. Because if she doesn't have the power. So if this is, this is her opponent, if she doesn't have the power to step and push around, she's just going to collide with that person. She won't have the power to get around. So to improve her basketball, she's got to be able to step and then launch that way. So the focus is massive lateral component and making sure the power and the spring is loaded up on there. She can't let all the energy go into the floor and stop and then go, oh, I've got to try and go that way, okay? The, the, in your head, it's got to be, I'm going around that player, so I'm going to fake him that way, okay? So that's the sort of stuff you've got to practice when you're doing your sidesteps. All right.